and I will take you back to uh, 2017, uh, and it's in the summer, nice weather in Hardison River. And the yard on the on the screen you see is uh, a yard that uh, was purchased and owned by Miles Gould's daughter. That's why the yard's name is called Lady May, because Miles Gould's daughter's English name is May. And of course, Chinese name is May too, but it's different spelling because it's phonetically, uh, 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 like a um, saying phonetically, uh, uh, pronunciation wise, but a spelling, the Chinese spell May is different than M-A-Y. But anyway, uh, the yard was built in 2014 by uh, custom build. It's a design, okay. And then by the Dutch manufacturer, um, Feet Ship, Royal Dutch uh, Shipyards. And it's equipped it with advanced computerized controls and communications. And the CCP hacked uh, the electronics of this 152-foot yacht on July 18th in 2017. Okay, so that's exactly a day. What was Miles was trying to uh, referring to in that report that was written later on, pub published by the Washington Free Beacon, that the incident happened on July 18th. So what did it, that day, what did happen to Miles School and his yacht? Let's take a look. Uh, sorry, before we go into what happened, I'm going to share with you a, uh, a interesting um, uh, facts because throughout the show, I will share with you a lot of uh, legal, uh, you know, we, we call them unrestricted, unrestricted lawfare because throughout the, the whole thing, the whistleblowing, uh, it's entangled with the legal cases Miles Gore has because I've shared with you, Miles Gore has been attacked by the CCP using your American weaponized courts and weaponized justice system. So Miles Gore right now is dealing roughly about 76 legal cases. And you will see if I link all this together, link this together for you, then you will be able to tell, like this is all from the CCP, no other but Miles Gore's enemy number one, the Chinese Communist Party, OK? 